toilet buttons need to be adjusted properly, otherwise they can cause a number of different issues to happen. Um, a properly adjusted button will have a couple of millimetres of play in it, not much, just a couple of millimetres of play. That makes sure that when it's depressed, uh, it properly engages the flush mechanism and it flushes properly. There are a number of problems that can come from a poorly adjusted button. Firstly, there may be too much play in the button, which means that you have to press and hold the button in order to engage a flush. Another typical outcome of a poorly adjusted button is that you'll get water dripping into the toilet system. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the button um, and show what can happen if it's not done properly. So the button mechanism is simply um, uh, depresses these, these pins and these pins are adjusted depending upon the, the type of toilet. So each toilet will have slightly different mechanism, uh, but this one is a, is a typical um, a pin on a toilet. These are actually quite long, and you can see that there's the ability to actually screw them up or down, and these black screws are actually locking mechanisms that lock the pin in place and stops it from, um, from vibrating loose and, and working themselves up or down. So I'm going to make this one a little bit longer and put that back on the toilet and you can see or hear that we're now actually causing the water to overflow and you'll hear the toilet system turn on every so often. The reason that's been caused is that the, the prong is actually depressing on the flush mechanism right there because it's too long and you can see how that's just a few millimetres. It doesn't need much, it's only a few millimetres of difference and it's actually depressing on there and causing the water to, um, to exit. Consequently, if I have it poorly adjusted the other way, so I'll wind these up, you'll see that there's a lot of play in there, and what happens there is that, in that instance it engaged the flush properly because this is a Seema clean flush and it's a really powerful flush, but um, you can actually have a situation where, where you need to press and hold the button in order, to, um, in order to flush rather than just tapping it. So that's the consequence of a poorly adjusted button. Now how do you adjust it? Well, you undo the locks, move them, unscrew them, and then so back on the toilet and just check that you've got a few millimetres of play. That one's probably a little bit tight, so we'll screw it up a little bit. These are all, and these are all fairly fine adjustments. So that's giving us two or three millimetres of adjustment. Not much. And then once we're happy with that, we lock, we lock it in place so that it's not accidentally adjusted later on. Okay, so that's a properly adjusted toilet, set the toilet button, just a few millimeters of play, no water leaking into the, um, into the pan, so we've stopped that from happening, and the flush should be as simple as just tapping the button, and there we have it.